Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4, Once Upon a Horror Story, Part 3. And in the last part, um, the group, the mains, I guess, I think there's six of them. Um, Danny, Liam, Todd, Marie, Taylor, and Tyler, they all met up and they discussed a few things. And they... They have come to the conclusion that the attacks have to be relating to Amber Moore's death. Because they were all there that night. And so, you know. So, yeah. And then they went to a party. So, Danny and Liam, this is the next morning. They have now gone to Dean Regina's office. Dean Manning, her office. In hopes of maybe persuading her to close down the campus. Because, because um... It's questionable. Because, like, people have been attacked on this campus. People have been legitimately attacked by the White Knight. Like, the school mascot. People have been attacked and injured. Six people. And although Marie's method of going directly to Regina's house wasn't effective... Liam and Danny are hoping that they'll be able to close down the campus. Or at least persuade her to at least call the police. <laughs> so, um, you are going to talk about the freezing temperatures. Like, why don't you just close down the campus? Like, you have to do something. Like, you know... <laughs> Like, people could get hurt. Like, people could die. Like, there, there is a, there is a stalker. Like, like, people are being, like, attacked and stalked. And I feel like that's a big issue. Like, you need to call the police, close down the campus, something. But, I'm not so sure that she will. I'm honestly not. Like, it's questionable. So... Try to flatter her. And then... Possibly discuss interests. Like, this isn't the best interest of everybody in the campus. So... And then... Talk about the freezing temperatures again. Like... <laughs> Dean Manning, you need to really, like, get, like, your stuff together. Like, you are the, you are the dean of this campus. And people are getting hurt. Danny, where'd Danny go? Oh my god, I hate when they do this. I need to turn free will off, like, let's be honest. Game options. Gameplay. Autonomy. Off. Like, I try to keep autonomy on, just for realism, but then they just go off. So, like, please just go sit up there. <sighs> this is questionable. This is questionable. I feel like the teens, not even the teens, the young adults, they're scared. <laughs> like, people, they've been, they've all been attacked by a guy in a suit of armor. Okay, so Regina's gone. She left to go to a meeting or something. So we're just here sitting here. So we can... Okay, so... Well, that gathering is off. So actually disband the group. And then friendly. We're concerned. She's like, Liam, what do you think about the White Knight? Like, I feel like they're both kind of concerned. Like, it's questionable. Oh my god, like, this camera thing is moving a mile a minute. Okay, so. She's like, what do you think about this? Honestly, I don't really like white. I can believe that. Like, he's attacked you. Like, they're concerned. I would be too. Like, to be honest, I'd be concerned too. So, ugh. Okay, so they have not accomplished anything. What else can we do here? 
Might as well show off the little areas. Okay, this is basically, I guess, like admissions in the dean's office. The little square. The dorm is right over there. Then I guess this is the, the bookstore and all that. The hangout area. No one's here because everybody's either, either gone home or locked themselves in their their rooms. So some some classrooms. Oh, there's another floor. Um, I guess the artsy area. And then okay, well. Um ugh. So I guess we can go home. Like this is a bit concerning. Can you not flirt with Liam? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you like Adam. And Liam is dating the most headstrong member of your little group. Okay, Marie wants to go on a date. Sure. So, well, Danny's gonna go home. And then Liam and Marie will go chat. And go on their date to the ice cream shop. And then we'll move Liam back to the fraternity. And then I think we are gonna go back to Marie. Because Marie... Well, we'll save that for later in the episode. But Marie, this is kind of a Marie episode. Partially. This is like a Danny, Liam, and Marie episode, so they'll probably be on the thumbnail. Tyler might be too. Depends. <laughs> okay, so you. Okay, so let's... Um... We'll sit at this table over here. Yeah, we'll sit at this one. Pink and green. I guess not. We'll request this one. Blue and yellow. <laughs> Danny, she's gonna show so socialize with... Um... Adam. Cole is going to practice his logic skill, you can hone your fitness skill, and you can build your fitness skill as well. Who knew this place was so popular? Order for table. They're cute. I think Liam and Marie are cute. If you did not know this, I think I've mentioned it before, Marie is Scott Betancourt's high school ex-girlfriend. She dumped him on prom night. That's how the series are tied together. <laughs> That's how the series are tied together. Okay, so, um, Marie. Marie is going to get a, a Twin Roses. And Liam is going to get Rainbow Sharbert. What is Sorbet? I saw one of them was Orange Sorbet. What is Sorbet? So, friendly... Ask about her day. Friendly. Have a deep conversation. Because, like, they need to talk about the White Knight, of course. And then get to know. I feel like they don't really know each other that well. Their relationship is not that good. Like, for people who have been dating, they're like the power couple, I guess, of the school. Marie is a genius. I knew that. I made her. Express your admiration. He only knows one of her traits. Oh, Liam is ambitious, perfectionist, outgoing, and business savvy. I don't know if we've looked at that before. But yeah, Marie, I feel like she only half sees the, these attacks as a big deal. Like, she only, she's only half. Like, she's still kind of more about, like, the other things in life. Because it's the White Knight, you know? Like, they can't really do anything to stop it. The police will catch him eventually if they're ever called. <laughs> if they're ever called. No one has called the police. Not one person. We need to, I feel like we'll, pop, we'll have to call the police soon. <laughs> At some point, one of the, one of the young, one of the students is gonna have to call the police. Like, I feel like that, I don't want them to look too dumb. Cause I feel like, I feel like so far, these students, they're kind of dumb. Like, no one has called the police. No one has gone to the news, or the media. 
They're all just, you know, sitting here in their discontent and their fear. Oh, they got their ice cream. That's good. But, like, I feel like the Once Upon a Horror Story teens, they were definitely smarter. <laughs> like, they covered up a murder in Once Upon a Horror Story, and then they uncovered it. Like, some of them un covered up a murder, and then the rest of them uncovered the murder without any police intervention. <laughs> like, I feel like that was pretty smart of them. But, like, these these teens, they're... They're not even teens, they're young adults. They're just over here like, let me go get ice cream while people are while people are getting attacked. Like while the while while the school mascot is terrorizing the campus. Let's let me do that. Let's get ice cream. <laughs> but I feel like we did this. I feel like this is higher stakes than Once Upon a Horror Story season one, because there wasn't there was an active killer, but like the killer wasn't gonna kill anybody else but Serenity Betancourt. And it was four years prior, so it was just, it wasn't even really, like, a murder mystery. It was, like, a murder uncovered. But, like, this one's kind of, like, I guess you'd be, call it a murder mystery. Even though nobody's been murdered yet. Oh, okay, but you two really need to, like, deal with your, get your ice cream, and then you can kiss, and then we'll leave. Romance. Blow a kiss. Romance. And then... Kiss her cheek and then we'll leave. Okay, can you... I don't know, leave. And end in pay bill. Todd reached fitness skill level 2. That's great. Marie. Get up. So, romance, kiss her cheek, and then we'll go. Kiss her cheek, and let me get a screenshot, and then we'll leave. And we'll switch to Marie. Perfect. So, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I will be right back, and we will be with Marie. Hey, guys, and we are back, and we're with Marie. We're with the the sorority, so Marie, she's got some secrets to tell, and I think she wants to go tell Amber, but I'll be right back so we don't have to do the loading screen. And we are back at the graveyard. I don't know why it keeps disappearing. It's really annoying. I have to be quite honest. It's so annoying. Like, why does it do this? Like, I didn't... I don't... Whatever. Okay, so... Mourn Amber. I wish it wouldn't act like that. Because I have to do this now to get pictures. I don't like it. I don't like how... Like, I don't like that with anything in The Sims 4. When, like, you get really close to it and it, like... Like, just disappears. I think that's really anno- I think that's really stupid. So. Picture. Oh my god. Whatever. We're here. I don't understand why I have to be way back here. Okay, we can do it here. But yeah, more in Amber. Birth control? Okay, girl. So, and then read the epitaph. Did I engrave the epitaph? I hope I did. But yeah, she's gonna cry. Because I feel like she does miss her friend. Even though they weren't the closest. Like, she feels really bad. You know? So. Let's call. Come on, girl. Stop your tears. But I feel like Marie is proactive. If she's nothing else, she's proactive. R.I.P. Amber Moore, loving daughter, sister, and friend. I feel like Amber has some secrets that are going to have to be uncovered if we're going to figure out what's, what's happening. But we have something to do. So the club system and get-together, I use it way too often, but... <sighs> oh. 
Amber Moore is more connected to this mystery than I think anybody will ever know. So, go. Actually, no, you're not going to go here. You're going to cry again. And then I'm going to start this gathering. Why? What? Venues? What does that even mean? If I hang out at current lot, <laughs> I don't understand. This is the first time I've ever had this glitch. It has to be glitch. I've held gatherings at places like this before. Okay, you can stop crying and you'll start crying again. I swear to God, if he's busy, I'm going to be upset. Would rather... <laughs> he would rather not come. Ugh. That's so annoying. Okay, so we're going to trash this club and we'll make a new one. White Knight. Start together. What does that even mean? Go here. I've never had this problem before. I've been, and of course it happens in Once Upon a Horror Street, the one where it's necessary. Okay, I can adapt. I can adapt if this doesn't work. <laughs> I don't understand. I've never had this issue before. I don't understand. Okay then. Well, Marie's going home. It's fine. It's fine. I can I can adapt. So new crest. The sorority. The white knight might show up somewhere. The white knight's gonna show up at the sorority. He was supposed to show up at the graveyard, but he'll show up at the sorority. It's fine. It's fine. The story is the White Knight's been stalking Marie. Like, this day. That's why this is a Marie kind of episode. The White Knight is stalking Marie. But. But, this is only like, we, we've got, we've still got a good ten minutes on this episode. So, I think after Marie realizes she's being stalked, some, some secrets might be told by the rest of the group. Because the group is obviously going to have to rush to Marie's bedside at the hospital if she gets attacked. When she gets attacked. So, I think a secret or two might be told. Start gathering. Okay, so... Go to your room. Go here. And then where is Taylor? Taylor's downstairs. But yeah, I think this is slightly creepier because the White Knight made his way into the sorority. And upstairs, without being seen, into Marie's bedroom. Okay, Marie, we're gonna have to tone down this flirty thing. Tone down this happiness. Because she knows. The white knight is in her room. The literal... The, the stalker, killer, whoever. The villain is in her room. Like, I think that's really creepy. I think that's kind of creepier than the cemetery. Because, like, he followed her home. So, we are going to... Mean... We're going to argue. No. Or we'll argue about his career as a, as the stalker. I want to say the killer because this is a horror thing. I'm just going to call him the killer. Um. Yell at. She's kind of hoping somebody's going to be able to hear her, but they won't. Marie is not afraid. Marie, Marie is not afraid. Marie is many things, but she is not afraid anymore.
I've got to get pictures. Like, Once Upon a Horror Story, I love this. I still look at the screenshots from season one. I The voice sounds like a boy, but he might be, he, she, whoever, might be using like one of those voice changers like they did in Scream 3. You know? Who knows? But it sounds like a boy. Oh, I'm boring you, white knight? Like, why are you doing this? I think he's definitely got a voice changer, but I think it's a boy. I think that's what Marie's getting from this. She's trying to, like, see if she knows the voice. That's why she's talking so much. She wants, like, Marie, I think she's probably the smartest one, even if her methods are a little unorthodox. Like, she's, she's over here holding, like, a conversation with the white knight. No! Oof, I hate this girl. Stop. I hate this girl. Go back in. Where is she? Go back in the room. Oh. Why are they glitching into each other? This bothers me so much. Marie. I love Marie. She's so ballsy. Like, wow. Like, I don't think Danny could ever, at this point, I don't think Danny would be able to, like, confront the White Knight, even though I think Danny's the main character. Danny's Zoe, and Marie's, like, Helena. Like, it's hilarious. Get up. I hate when they do that. Like, I think he, I think in the storyline he attacked her, but she, but you know, whatever, it's fine. She's gonna lose, obviously. He's the white knight. He's in a suit of armor. She's in heels and a dress. Like, it's just not a realistic fight that she can win. And then Marie's gonna pass out. So, I want a picture. Like, this is just really hard to get pictures with. Oh my god. The stupid sorority. <laughs> okay, so Marie's gonna pass out. The gathering is going to end. End gathering. So he has knocked Marie out. I wish they didn't look so ridiculous when they passed out. Like, that would just really help. So, Marie is passed out on the floor. And the White Knight's gonna leave. And Taylor heard the ruckus. Taylor and... Taylor and Lucia. They heard the ruckus. So, they're gonna run up. But the White Knight's already gonna be gone. Even if Taylor and Lucia see her... The White Knight, even if they see the White Knight, he's he's already gone. White Knight is an enigma. Okay, so you need to call the police. Taylor's gonna rush up. Marie has arrived from consciousness, from unconsciousness. So you are gonna... You are going to... You're going to hug her, and then you're going to take her to the hospital, because Marie is in and out of consciousness. We're just going to up her thing a little bit so she doesn't pass out again. <laughs> but she's dazed, so you're going to hug her. Because that's like your best friend. And so Taylor's going to go take her to the hospital, and we're going to put Lucy in the background of this screenshot because she was also there. And then we'll get one of just them. Okay, so we need to go to the hospital. So I will be right back when we're at the hospital.
I cannot believe the bomb that was just dropped. Tyler told Adam what re what happened the night Amber died. Tyler told Adam that she went up on that roof and she fell and that is why they are being attacked. That is why they're being attacked. So Tyler and Adam, they're arguing now. Because Adam was actually asleep. I don't know about the rest of these fools, but, you know. So these two are going to argue, like, as to why the other six are keeping him in the dark. Like, just because he has not been attacked doesn't mean he is not a part of this. Like, his sister seems to be at the center of this all. So I want these two... You're going to mean, you're going to brush him, you're going to brush him off because he's awful and then you're going to go, and then you're going to storm out, so. I hate when they do this. They pretend like they've just done the interaction, so, okay, we, we did it. So, you're going to storm out and you're going to go home. And Danny, you're not happy, sweetie, but. But everybody's kind of upset now. So Danny's going to yell at Tyler. Because he, because she was over here like, why would you do that? Why would you tell him? Like, like he could have stayed out of this. Danny, I want you to yell at him. I don't, I don't understand why they all have to sit down when they argue. Like, I just don't. She's like, how could you tell him? Like, what if it's not even true? What if this is all just a coincidence and you tell him? And people think, and like, he thinks that we did something awful to his sister. Like, ugh. So, this was a mess. But I think that is going to be all for now. In the next episode, maybe somebody will go to the police. Maybe somebody will die. Who knows? But that is going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!